What is going on guys, Miracle from Wartech here and what I have for you guys today is this $482 PC build. It does have a $35 mail-in rebate, so originally this would be $517, but today this is going to be $482 for you guys. So let's jump straight into the build. Alright guys, starting us off, we're going to have the Core i3-6100 CPU guys with the 3.7 GHz frequency with dual cores, 4 cores hyper threading, and this is going to be a killer CPU guys for $104. We're going to have a really nice CPU that we could potentially overclock and we could even have our stock fan cooler which we will be using on this build we're not going to have an external fan cooler so we're going to have the cpu and the fan cooler for 104 dollars guys this is a really nice top choice cpu i've seen a lot of people use them for their build and i even have a couple friends that are using them and they have no complaints at all so guys coming over to our motherboard we're going to have the gigabyte ga110m micro atx motherboard guys this is going to be a really good motherboard for 41.99 we're going to have one pcie slot and two ddr4 dim slots then going over to our io we're gonna have two usb 3.0 ports and hdmi port usb 2.0 ports and we're gonna have our lan connection port guys this is a really nice small form factor motherboard for 41.99 Next, guys, we're going to be using the Crucial Ballistics 4 8GB RAM. We're going to be using a single stick of 8GB RAM DDR4 rated for 2400 MHz. Now, you guys may be asking me, why do we want to go with the single 8GB stick instead of two 4GB sticks? Well, guys, the simple fact for future proof and expansibility. So, say you guys were like me and you guys had two 4GB sticks, right? Well, your guys' motherboards only have two DIMM slots, so you guys are only stuck at that. So, if we go with one 8GB stick and maybe later on you guys want to upgrade a 16GB, well, you guys have another slot to put another 8 gigabyte stick and your guys' future proof is enabled right there. Okay, guys, coming over to our hard drive, we're going to use the Western Digital Caviar Blue 1 terabyte drive. This drive is 7200 RPM, so it is pretty fast. And for only $48.99, this is a really good bang for your buck hard drive to store all your games, media, and content on it. Now, since our build is only $482 and say you guys have that little extra money to spend to exactly $500, you guys could even spend up to around $30 to get like a 90 gigabyte gigabyte ssd or somewhat even around 100 gigabyte ssd just to have that extra space if you want to put your really important games or programs you guys have you guys could even fit probably even three or four on that ssd or if you guys even have a little bit more money extra during towards christmas you guys can invest into another ssd or a, maybe even a higher capacity ssd guys but for 48.99 this is a really good drive guys to hold all your content and games on okay guys coming over to our graphics card maybe arguably the most important part of these pc builds as some would say we're going to be using the msi radeon rx 480 the 4 gigabyte variant with gddr5 memory and a core clock of 1.12 gigahertz this is going to be a really bang for the buck card guys at 180 dollars if you guys don't know already msi has been killing the graphics card game for the past two or three years now and this is no exception at all with their twin frozer fans these are going to be really nice if you want to get a pretty stable overclock onto this card you'll have no problem at all i would really suggest getting this card this is actually the card i was going to get to the replace my 970 to be honest but i think i'm gonna stick with my 970 yet again with this graphics card you guys are gonna be maxing out games at 1080p just fine and you might maybe might be able to get in some of that low end 2560 by 1440 gaming you probably could guys i'm not 100 sure you guys have to test that all on yourself but guys for this graphics card you're gonna be set for stone atx mid tower good quality case front panel usb 3.0 and, and 2.0 Guys, Bit Phoenix Nova ATX Mint Tower case for $21.99 says it all right here. This is a really nice, gorgeous case, actually. And this is actually something I would consider buying. For $21.99, we're going to get superb build quality because I know from Bit Phoenix, I've had one of their cases before a long time ago, three, four years ago, and I absolutely liked it before I got my Antec case. And guys, for $21.99, you guys cannot beat a case for that price, guys. And it is an ATX Mint Tower case, so you guys have plenty of room for expansibility instead of just having a very small form factor build for a little bit cheaper case we're going to be using this one which is actually one of the cheapest cases right now on the market for $21.99 and an ATX mid tower guys I cannot stress that enough ATX mid tower guys just think about that lastly guys getting into our power supply we're going to be using the EVGA 50 watt 80 plus bronze certified power supply guys 500 watts is going to be setting in a really nice tone for this build since we only have one PCIe slot, we can't do any crossfire builds, so 500 gigabytes actually might be the max that you might want to use, unless you guys upgrade your motherboard later on, but still with 500 watts, you guys will have no problem running two graphics cards, whether they're the RX 480s or the 1060s, 
you guys will be plenty safe with this this is a really nice budget build power supply from EVGA and I actually have one of these two in my Linux machines that I use at home and I absolutely love this very nice quiet fans and the build quality is very nice for the product guys for $44.89 you guys could not beat this power supply so guys I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little video on the 2016 PC building guide guys for under $500 you guys are gonna have no problem running your games maxed out on 1080p as well as doing some light video editing and streaming with this machine guys this is a really great and entry starting machine especially with the uh, holidays coming right around the corner this is really something you could put on your christmas list and maybe you guys could have it so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe and comment below and i'll see you guys in the next one